This weekend, a crucial one in determining the fate of the 49,000 UAW members on strike for more than a month now. It was breaking news yesterday here at 5 as union heads from all over the country decided to deal with GM was good enough to put to a vote. And tomorrow, the rank and file will begin to get to have their say. Priya Man live at the Detroit Hamtramck plant, and I'm wondering what you've been hearing now that uh, members have had about 24 hours to digest this, Priya. You know, Devin, there's a lot of questions. The devil, of course, is in the detail, but members are cautiously optimistic. Take this plant for example. $3 billion investment in electric trucks and van assembly, more than 2,000 jobs. These members will start to make their voices heard beginning tomorrow. On strike since mid-September, UAW members will stay on the picket lines during the ratification process. Members start meeting on Saturday and have until next Friday to vote. Many eager to learn details of the new deal. It's just a wait and see. We're going to get a lot of it explained to us, you know, and there's going to be a lot of questions, I'm sure. Here's what we do know about the tentative agreement. Full-time employees will get a signing bonus of 11 grand. Part-time or temporary workers will get a $4,500 bonus. There are pay raises every year for the next four years, ranging between three and four percent, and there's no change to worker health care costs. We just want to get back to our, you know, making a good quality product, and I'm pretty sure GM wants to get back to making money also. While GM plans to retool the Detroit Hamtramck assembly plant for a new product, the plant in Lordstown, Ohio, will remain closed. We were in that same situation. A lot of our members left for Flint, Spring Hill, Arlington, and other places. So, yeah, I feel for my union brothers and sisters. It's the union's first strike since 2006 and the longest against GM in nearly half a century. 46,000 workers walked off the job, costing GM nearly half a billion dollars a week. It's exhilarating and it's scary. It's exhilarating because we're sticking together, we're standing up for ourselves, and it's scary because we didn't know how long it was going to last and if we were going to get some of the things that we were asking for. Now, both sides are walking away with something. For GM, they got to close three plants while continuing to invest and expand in Mexico. Here in Metro Detroit, the facility in Warren gets a $200 million investment with more than 70 jobs. And by this time next week, we could have a done deal. Reporting live from the Detroit Hamtramck facility, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. And about the what's going to happen here over the next week or so, what, take us through the process a bit, Priya. All right, so members will begin meeting starting tomorrow, and this is when locals will be able to ask questions and go over the details, and then voting will begin. That deadline is October 25th. What's rare in this case, though, is members will continue to strike through this entire process, and of course, again, that deadline is October 25th, and stay with Local 4 for the latest developments. Send okay. it back to you. All right, Priya. Governor Gretchen Whitmer says she's happy to see a tentative agreement between the UAW and GM. Whitmer says she'll work to make sure money planned for Michigan plants is invested here. We've boasted a number of investments this year, from FCA to General Motors to Ford Motor Company. I think that we really are the center of mobility, and we're going to continue to remain that way. But we have to be shrewd about ensuring that these investments happen, and so it's certainly something that um, I'm going to work to make sure every dollar that GM wants to invest happens right here in Michigan.